welcome back to the Blues Not Channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hop Series episode. It's episode number 59 and today I'm about to head down to the Bort Station as I'm going to be taking Bort to Berkeley as I'll be there to watch my first ever college soccer game and the first ever college soccer game that's going to be featured in the Sports Hop Series as today I'm going to be watching the Cal Golden Bears take on Incarnate Words Carno. Now it is still very early days in the college soccer season. I believe this is only the second game of the season for the Cal Golden Bear after they won their season opener. And I think this is also the first game ever for Incarnate Word Cardinal in the college soccer season. So certainly hard to call who exactly is the favorite in this game and who is gonna win this one. But yeah, should expect a very kind of interesting kind of game. Let's go soccer. All right, so I'm inside the port station. I have to take these stairs downstairs to get onto the platform and wait for the train. Here comes the train. arrive at Berkeley and I think the stadium is behind this wall so I'm just gonna walk up this pathway here to get to the entrance to the stadium and I think that gate over there is the entrance to the stadium okay so apparently now I have to walk all the way around the stadium because apparently the gate that I just went through they did not allow me to go through that gate and that they have to ask me to go all the way around to the other side of the stadium and keep in mind this is the first time I've been into the stadium so I have no clue where exactly the entrance is but yeah it's a bit frustrated they have to go all the way around the stadium but the good news is the game doesn't kick off until 2 o'clock and it's only 1.15 I think this must be the entrance here there was a soccer match today sign over there, so I'm guessing this has to be the entrance. So there's the tickets for the match. And there is the stadium right here. Players are doing their pre-game warm-up right now. So I'm actually at the top part of the stadium. We got roughly about 30 minutes before the kickoff. And just a little bit more information about this match. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know where exactly Cal is based in, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you do not know exactly where Incarnate Word is actually based in and what kind of school they are. Well, they're actually a private Catholic school and they are actually based in San Antonio, Texas. And this is also a non-conference match between both of these teams, which means that both of these teams are playing each other, but they're not in the same conference. And it's very common in early days of the college soccer season where teams actually play against another team in different conferences. Also, college soccer is actually a little bit different than your usual soccer. You still have the regular 90 minutes with 45 minutes half, but what's interesting about college soccer is that after the 90th minute, if the game remains in a draw or a tie, we actually does not end the game in a draw. They actually do go to two extra time period. Um, each extra time period actually is only 10 minutes long and they actually go with the old-fashioned golden goal rule so whoever scores the first goal will actually win the game and if both extra time does remain as a draw then at that point we will declare this game as a draw and also there is unlimited substitution in college soccer just like how it is for most amateur kind of soccer league but yeah like I said we got roughly about half hour before the kickoff of this game so as I'm watching the player down there on the pitch. I actually came all the way at the top of the stadium and I'm actually sitting where would be the broadcasting and the commentator are sitting. So usually on the game day you see a couple of commentators sitting at these seats and of course we'll be watching 
watching the game and commentating from this position. But of course, since today there is no commentator and there's no broadcasting sitting at these seats, I'm guessing these seats are free for the public to use, which is very nice. Now the players are walking down to the field. And it looks like the announcer in the background is about to announce the starting 11 for this match. Starting in goal, number one, Carlos Mercado. And the referee gets this match underway. The Carno, of course, will be going all red today. So we'll be playing from right to left, while the Cal Bears will be wearing all white today. Going from left to right as we are underway here for this college soccer match on the campus of UC Berkeley. Comes the Bear played the ball here on the left. They're going to drive this one in, and it is just a little bit high there as the player had a good look at goal there and probably had a free head or two just about six yards out, and that's probably the first good opportunity here for the Bears in this game. Actually, they're going to play a short. They play a little dummy, and... It is going to be wide there as that player just couldn't quite get his shot off well very well. He's going to play this ball here on the right. This could be a good opportunity for the Bears here. And he went for the selfish effort there to go on goal. And it's going to be a good kick coming up here for the Bears. This is a free kick for the Bears as we're approaching the half hour mark. Ball driven in, and that player had a chance to basically tap it in from six yards out, and there's a little bit of a tussle down there. And the referee is gonna have to try to control this one. So we got roughly about 10 minutes before halftime, and it is still a scoreless game between the Golden Bears and the Cardinal, and so far, Certainly Cal has been the better team and had majority of the ball and had a couple of good look in the 18-yard box too, but unfortunately they haven't been really kind of clinical so far in this game and also have looked very kind of sloppy in possession. So yeah, we're going to see what happened here in the last 10 minutes of this first half. Are we going to get a goal here in the last 10 minutes or are we going to head into halftime in a stalemate? Oh, and that is a bit of a rough challenge, and let's see what this is going to be. It's going to be a red card. It is a sending off here in this game as the referee has shown the red card, and Kano is down to 10 minutes here, or actually down to 10 men here. But that was definitely not a good challenge. And the referee immediately heads to his back pockets and send off that incarnate word player that is going to take the walk of shame to the bench. Here comes a corner for the Bears here. Ball going in. Oh, and what a save by the keeper! There to keep it out and remain again tied at nil-nil as this is going to be a yellow card here as Incarnate Ward are absolutely fuming about that call. And let's see if there's going to be further action besides the yellow card. It looks like there isn't. This might be the last kick off the first half. And that actually is going to be the halftime whistle as this corner is not going to be taken. And at halftime, it is scoreless here between Cal Golden Bear and Incarnate Word Cardo. Right, it is halftime here and it is a scoreless game between Cal Golden Bear and Incarnate Word Carno. And I got to say, the last five minutes, things got very heated between both 
of these team. I mean, the challenge was flying in. Uh, players were very upset with some of the decision the ref are making, and players were getting in each other's faces. And we also had a sending off in the 35th minute as Incarnate Word is now down to 10 men for the remaining of this game. But despite all of that, we are still scoreless, and it is still anybody's game, and certainly all to play for here in the second half. And remember, if this game does remain tied after the 90 minutes, we will go to extra time. And the referee gets the second half underway. It's all to play for here for both teams. And straight away, that is going to be a goal kick. And it's all to play for in this game as both teams is still tie and nil here. Uh, drive in and oh, he blasted over there as again another good opportunity for the Bears to score and the play was open. Well, we finally have the first goal of this game and unfortunately I missed this goal as the Bears' goal was scored was by number 11, Chen right there on the left side. And that player basically delivered the ball Assisted into the box. Assisted by number four, Ian Leonard. Cross and Chinya's goal is his first of the in, season. Into the back of the net, and just like that, the Golden Bears have broke through. Gonna play the overlap here on the left side as the ball crosses in. Oh, and he just couldn't quite brought it down there. Although, still another chance for the Bears, and this is gonna be clear the way here. And that's a nice little ball. This could be a chance for the second. Oh, and it is saved by the keeper there. And that should have probably been the second goal there from the Golden Bears as he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Here comes the corner. It's a good delivery, and that is going to be a free kick coming up for the Cardinal. Well, I'll tell you what. That goalkeeper looked like he brought down one of the Bears player, and here comes the Carno on the counter here. So looking to try to quickly catch the Bears off balance here, and it's going to go straight to the goalkeeper. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is the end of the game and as the, the referee game. blows the full top and Cal whistle. One. The Cal Golden Bear able to get zero. away here as they win it by a final score of one to nothing over Incarnate World Cardinal. So now I have just exited the stadium and in the end it was the Cal Golden Bear with a one nothing victory over Incarnate World Cardinal and certainly they well they deserve this victory considering the fact that they pretty much just dominate this game especially in the second half where it feels like for majority of the second half, the Bears had the possession and they pretty much just pinned Incarnate Word back. But yeah, either way guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like, smash that subscribe button, make sure you guys check out my other episode of Sports Hop Series. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.